Welcome to the channel where we dive deep into the big ideas that shape our world and our daily lives. Today, we're zeroing in on a philosophy that's all about maximizing joy and well-being. Utilitarianism, it's like looking at life through a lens that asks, how can we make the most people happy? Imagine you had a ledger and for every decision you made, you could record whether it added to or subtracted from the world's happiness. That's utilitarianism in a nutshell. It's a way of evaluating our actions based on the amount of good they do. But where did this idea come from? Picture a time of great change in England, the era of the Industrial Revolution. Two thinkers, Jeremy Bentham and John Stuart Mill, developed utilitarianism as a response to the social upheaval of their day. They asked a simple yet revolutionary question. What if the best action is the one that provides the most happiness? Bentham started with the basics. Pleasure is good. Pain is bad. He suggested we could actually calculate happiness, like adding up points on a scoreboard. Mill took the idea further, saying that not all pleasures are created equal. Some are higher, more noble than others. Now, let's fast forward to today. How does utilitarianism fit into our world of smart tech, environmental challenges, and social media. Well, it's everywhere. When companies decide to go green, they're thinking about the long-term happiness of the planet. When algorithms suggest what we watch next, they're designed to maximize our pleasure. But it's not just for big corporations or tech programmers, it's for you and me too. Every time we choose to carpool, recycle, or help a neighbor, we're making a utilitarian choice. We're voting for a happier world with our actions. Of course, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are tough questions about justice, rights, and whose happiness counts more. And can we really measure happiness? It's a complex balance, trying to weigh the joy and the pain our choices might cause. Yet this philosophy has staying power because it gives us a goal aim for the most good. It's like a compass pointing us toward a kinder, more considerate way of living. And in a world that's more connected than ever, our choices have ripples that can spread far and wide. So how do we apply all this to our lives? It's about being mindful, thinking about the impact of our choices and considering how we can contribute to the greater good. It's a call to action an invitation to live a life that's not just good for us, but also good for others. Utilitarianism is a guide, a framework, a way of looking at the world that says, let's do the most good. It's a philosophy that's as relevant today as it was two centuries ago, because the pursuit of happiness, well-being, and a better world never goes out of style. And that's the essence of the hedonist calculus the book that inspired this video. It's a modern guide to living a life that adds up to more joy, more fulfillment, and a better world for all of us. If this idea intrigues you, if you want to learn more about how you can make happiness count, click on the link in the description to get our book, The Hedonist Calculus, Maximizing Morality. Dive deeper into the story of happiness the challenges of ethics, and the practical ways we can all make a difference. Your ledger is waiting, and every page is a chance to spread a little more joy.